These are IB seniors, so they're in the IB DP program, the International Baccalaureate Diploma program. And what they're working on right now for biology is their internal assessment. They are responsible for creating and developing a research question that is personal and relevant to them. I decided to study the effect of sunscreen on photosynthesis rates of Elodia. When people go into the ocean or bodies of water, sunscreen comes off their body and it affects the life of the plants and animals in the ocean. So I decided to like sort of replicate that yeah, in this little flask here. I'm measuring the sucrose concentration of apples, which is directly correlated with the, the preservation of the apples itself and I'm trying to see how salt in, in a solution can help preserve apples over time. This one has 250 grams of salt, so it takes a while to work through all of it. And it's like 500 milliliters of water, so it's like half, half. These are eggs, uh, they're all emptied out. I put a hole in both sides and emptied it out. It's supposed to represent tooth enamel. So in my experiment, I'm basically testing levels of vinegar on tooth enamel and how like acidity will erode the teeth or if it will help it. I've heard that it erodes it, so that's what I'm gonna check for. Part of their assessment is the personal significance and the personal engagement with the research question. Right, so. And so we have students who are doing calorimetry, but they are doing it on the different amounts of fat content in turkey. To figure out how many calories are in there and how fat content affects that fluctuation. Or they're doing it on like popcorn and like how much seasoning on popcorn is gonna affect like calorimetry, the calorie content of foods. So this was two grams and then I'm gonna go up to four grams and then six grams and an eight. And then I should see a, a change in the calorie count after adding different amounts of um, popcorn seasoning. So I'm a beekeeper, so what I'm doing is I'm using my own honey to do a zone of inhibition test. So what that means is we put bacteria on a petri dish, and this is bacteria from skin. They were using different levels of honey concentration. Then we heat it up in the oven, and we want to see if the honey mixture kills bacteria. I have 40 different senior students, and with that I have 40 different, very unique experiments going on. My experiment is on DNA extraction from strawberries. The blue solution that I had was the extracting solution. Um, so I put it into mushed up strawberries. Basically what I'm testing is how different levels of alcohol affect the measurements of DNA from the strawberry. So actually I'm measuring whether caffeine can help in the germination of seeds. So I'm just doing like different caffeine me measurements for tea. So I just made some tea just now for the caffeine powder to be put into. And I'm just going to see uh, if it can affect the seeds of uh, guava, which is an exotic fruit. So basically I'm measuring the rate of sucrose concentration and how it affects the rate of fermentation on yeast. If you were baking, how much sugar and yeast mixed together would make the bread rise? So over here then you'll just see the different ones when they start adding. A lot of students, especially a lot of high school students and even college students don't really have this opportunity to do the entire scientific method, develop their own research question, and go through an investigation that is completely their own. And I do have a lot of students who are interested in the sciences, so if they can say, I've done this, they kind of have a leg up. 